All right, let's do another what's on my phone for this week. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the apps I've been using this week and why it's useful. Let's go do this, baby. This week I have both the Android Wear and the Samsung Gear apps installed for my LG Urbane watch and my Gear S watch. Android Wear app doesn't let you pair more than one watch at a time, but if you have an Android Wear watch and a Samsung watch, you'll be able to use two watches simultaneously. I find this part kind of odd because I wish Android Wear allow you to pair multiple watches, uh, and I'm sure those of you super high on Android would like to wear different watches depending on your different outfits if you had multiple uh, smart watches. I also use the Chrome Remote Desktop app often. Uh, this is a remote login app for your desktop computer and works through your Chrome browser. Simply install Chrome Remote app on your Chrome browser and you can remotely control your computer. It works on PC, Linux, Mac, Chromebook, and any device running Chrome browser. Uh, before this, I used to use the Tide VNC, which is an open source program, uh, but it was a pain in the ass to set up uh, because you must open a port with your router. And I know a lot of you don't know how to do that. Uh, with the Chrome remote app, it's all automatic, no messing with your router settings. Uh, just log into your Google account and you can connect to your computer anytime, anywhere, and it's 100% free. Whenever I'm rendering 4K videos for YouTube, such as this one, I have to go somewhere else, like to dinner, and I don't have to wait until I get back home to start uploading my video. Um, so I simply log into my computer using this app, then upload the video as soon as it's rendering straight from the restaurant. It's a great app for productivity and I really like how you can zoom in and out easily along with uh, keyboard and mouse support on your Android phone. It's so much better than Tide VNC, I love it. If you haven't used it, definitely check it out. This week, I'm also using Wemo app as I showed you in my Amazon Echo review video. Uh, what I didn't explain in the video is that the Wemo app also allows you to control your switches with timer and scheduling feature. I have to confess, I have a rather large collection of Android devices and gadgets I charge on a daily basis, so I put them all under one Wemo switch, uh, as having all of them on my chargers 24-7 uh, can waste a lot of energy. With Wemo, I have a timer, so it will only turn on for two hours from the time it's on. And I've also got it scheduled to turn on twice a day at noon and midnight, uh, just in case I forget to turn the switch on manually, so all of my gadgets stay charged. I've also got a Wemo hooked up to one of my backup servers, which backs up my websites daily. Uh, with Wemo scheduling, I'm able to turn it on two hours per day instead of having my server on 24 hours a day. I saved a ton of money on electricity by switching to Wemo. Geico. I also installed a Nest thermometer about four months back and the Nest app is awesome for remotely controlling your heater or air conditioner with your phone. I can now turn on my heater exactly when I want every day, scheduling for all seven days and being able to change them on the go with the app is just precious. Besides that, it will also tell you how much energy you have been using, which is crucial to saving energy in your home. I should have a full review of the Nest soon, but in the meanwhile, I highly recommend this product if your energy bill is high and you travel often. Uh, no more forgetting to turn off the heater when you leave the house. The Nest automatically turns off your heater air conditioning when you're not home. All right, with Wemo and Nest apps together, my energy bill came down from $350 to just $100 a month. Um, so these gadgets might be expensive, but if your energy bill is super high, it could potentially pay for itself in just a few months, like it did for me. Uh, my bill was also high because I was using energy in the fourth tier. Uh, for example, I have PG&E. Uh, there's a huge jump in energy price from like third and fourth. So once you go over, you're just paying like double, triple of the amount. So you can save a huge amount of money getting your energy use under second or the first tier limits. And for me, that was $350 to $100. I'm just getting it now. I think I'm on the second tier on pg and &E. Well, that's a wrap for today, folks. I'll definitely have more of these if you guys like it. Uh, if you're already using any of these apps, do let me know how you like them uh, in the comments box. And if you have any cool apps you want me to try, um, don't forget to let me know in the comments box also. And follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+, Instagram, and I will see you guys soon. As always, I'll stay. <laughs>